What's going on guys, it's Antonio Redgrave here, and today uh, I have a sort of different video for you guys. Uh, this is going to be my very first tutorial, and it is on Virgil's Judgment Cut, and consecutive Judgment Cuts, so doing the Judgment Cut not just one time, but two, three, and even four times in a row. The reason why I decided to do this tutorial is because on my Twitch streams and YouTube videos, as well as other Twitch streams and uh, YouTube videos that I've watched, I've noticed a lot of people asking the same question, which is, how do you do Virgil's Judgment Cut more than one time, so two, three, four times in a row, and, um, I thought that it would be easier to just make a YouTube video to just fully explain it uh, rather than just explain it over and over and over again. I could just uh, sort of direct you guys to this video and uh, that way it would be easier for you guys to sort of understand. So if you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments down below or if there are any other questions or comments that you have regarding Virgil or any other character. Uh, just in general that you see, uh, feel free to let me know and if I get enough of them then I'll make a video on that as well. So without further ado, I'll just do a brief introduction on Virgil's uh, Judgment Cut. So his Judgment Cut you unlock right from the very beginning in DMC5. Uh, you just press the attack button and hold it, and as you're holding it, uh, his sword will start to charge with lightning like this. And once you release it, he releases the beam of energy uh, slashing through the dimensions with the Judgment Cut. Now Virgil also has something called a Just Cut, so if you time the uh, release of the Judgment Cut right as uh, the lightning strikes, you'll get what is a just cut, just like that. And I did two in a row, actually on accident. Um, so that is the just cut, so it does more damage and it's faster. Now this can be done uh, two different ways. You can either time it so that the lightning, right when the lightning appears on his sword, or if the sword is out, you can uh, release it right when the sword goes back into place. That was a, a delayed judgment cut. I missed it there, but if I can get this, just like that. And that can be done, like I said, with any move that involves the Yamato, whether grounded or air. So if I were to get the uh, show me your motivation taunt, he can even do it on his taunts. That includes this taunt, um, his bloody palace taunt, and his EX taunt, which all... Um, have sword releases. Basically, any move that actually has him releasing his sword, you can do it. You can also do it with the Force Edge combo B right here. Let me just demonstrate this really quickly. So at the, oh, whoops. my apologies. So if I were to go down here, the Earthquake Tremble just really quickly. So if I were to really quickly switch back to Yamato, I can do it at the very end of that. Um, so that is Virgil's Just Cuts. Uh, we're gonna call them Just Cuts or Perfect Judgment Cuts. So now there are two different versions of the Judgment Cut, like I said. Uh, the Just Cut, which is releasing it perfectly, and the regular Imperfect Judgment Cut. So if you, uh, mistime it even a little bit, he'll just step back and just do the regular version of the Judgment Cut. Alright, so now let's get to what you guys actually wanted, the consecutive Judgment Cuts in a row. So... If you guys remember in Devil May Cry 3, Virgil can do Judgment Cut up to three times in a row. And the way that that game would work is that you had to hold the button to release the first Judgment Cut, and then you had to time the other two, the other two Judgment Cuts with a button press, just pressing the button right when he sheathed the sword. Now, it works very similarly here, except it takes the mechanic of uh, the Devil May Cry for uh, Judgment Cut Perfect Release. So, so to try to put it into simpler terms, you are perfectly releasing the Judgment Cut uh, three times in a row, and the input is exactly the same. So what you have to do is after that first Judgment Cut, you have to immediately uh, hold the attack button again and wait for Virgil to charge the Judgment Cut again in order to do it a second time. So if I were to do this, I missed there, but I got it there that second time. So what I had to do was I had to release the attack button in order to get the first judgment cut out. And then as I released it, I pressed it again. And as he sheathed the sword from the first judgment cut, I released it again. And that's how I was able to get the second judgment cut. And you just have to do that uh, one more time and you'll be able to get oh, I missed there. the three times in a row. And you'll 
know when you got it perfectly three times in a row because he will always say jackpot at the very end every single time he does it perfectly. So he can do it in the ground, but he can also do it in the air. Jackpot. And there's the jackpot at the very end. So the timing for the judgment cut is going to be different uh, both on the ground and in the air. And if you're in a Sin Devil Trigger, the timing is just a little bit faster because in Sin Devil Trigger, uh, you move faster. So you just need to practice and um, just get those inputs down uh, correctly. I think just from playing Virgil, the amount of hours that I've had, I think that releasing it on the ground is faster than releasing it in the air. You're finished. The down you go. And the way that... Um, I sort of like to time it myself is just by watching Virgil and also um, sort of kicking in on the sound cues. That's sort of hard to explain, but that's just something that I would figure just comes with just playing the character and practicing. Uh, my first playthrough with Virgil, I couldn't really do it consecutively, but after the first couple of missions of just doing it over and over and over again, I um, pretty much got the air timing down fairly quickly. The ground timing was different because, again, the timings for them are different, but uh, myself, personally, I prefer doing it in the air only because when you are grounded... Oh, let me... Uh, you are pretty much stuck there on the ground, but while you're in the air, you actually have a little bit of inertia, so you can be moving around pretty much the entire time. At least, like, initially. As you can see, I'm sort of like drifting to the right here. This is what I like to do to sort of avoid um, avoid bosses, avoid like really powerful enemies like Angelos. I just prefer doing it in the air, but again, that's just personal preference. They both do the same amount of damage and they're both relatively the same speed. It's just that the, um, the timing for them is just a little bit different. Now, if you noticed um, during those uh, cycle of judgment cuts, you might have thought to yourself, wait a minute, Redgrave, you did it four times in a row, and that's right, you can do this four times in a row, and I will explain that now. So when you were doing a perfect judgment cut at the beginning of your sequence, you can do it up to three times in a row. And there's the jackpot. However, if the first judgment cut is not perfect or a regular judgment cut, you can do three perfect judgment cuts after that, and I will display that now. One, two, one, two, three, four. And the same works in the air. There's four in a row. And what you can also do is you can summon Doppelganger for additional damage. And if you are in Sin Devil Trigger, the Judgment Cut can hit up to a maximum of three different enemies at once. So there you have it, guys. That's how you do Virgil's Judgment Cuts up to four times in a row. Um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Or if you catch me streaming, you can ask me there and I'll try to demonstrate it again uh, and explain it again uh, the best that I can. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, I wish you the best of luck in your Virgil endeavors, and I will see you next time.